get going with GOMO, step five. Now that we've actually created some content, we can now go and preview that and share and publish it as well. So the first thing I do is just to click Save in the editor. And the topic saved, so I'm just going to close the editor. So click Close at the top. And that takes me back to my project structure view. So to preview what we have, I can just go up to the Actions drop down at the top right and select Preview Project. Again, it opens up another tab in my browser. And so Gomo has now applied the theme that, uh, that we chose, our customized theme from step two. And you can see that it is put in the default background image that I selected. And it's also given us these navigation elements as well, which we switched on. So for example, help, and also the glossary, and also the table of contents which just shows me all of the topics actually within my project. Click Next there, here's, here's our menu topic. So I can just click on that. And here we are in the first screen that we put together in topic one. At the moment, this is showing me the desktop view, but I can also quickly see how this might look on tablets and smartphones. So at the top left, just click the drop down and here I can select tablet and you can see that Gomo's responsive layout has meant that it's just pulled in the size, just adjusted the size of the columns there. But I can also have a look at how that would look if I rotated the tablet to portrait mode. And here what it's done is to uh, respond by uh, stacking the content columns here and similarly, we can see how it would look on smartphones. So select smartphone from the drop down at the top left. So again, here we see the smartphone view again with the columns stacked in this responsive way. Again, we can see how that would look in landscape mode. So let's just go back to our desktop view. So that was our first screen, just with the text and the static image. Click the next button. Here we have the video that we, that we added in there. So we can just click to play, can also go full screen. And if we go on to the third screen, here we have our select from a list question. And you can also see the highlight color here is being pulled from the theme. And that was the secondary color that I, that I changed when we customized the theme. So here, if I just make some selections, click Confirm, and we get the feedback in one of these pop-up subscreens. So that's the way that you can preview the project. Now let's go and share that with a wider audience. So I'm just going to close the preview tab. We're back in the structure view. This time I'm going to select Share. And here with sharing the project, it now gives me this link that I could email out to, uh, to a panel of reviewers, and they could just click on that. They don't need to go my login. Uh, they could just uh, click on that and actually be able to preview the project themselves. It's also giving me a QR code. This is a great way to be able to test your project across multiple devices. All you have to do is fire up the QR code reader on your tablet or smartphone, point it at that QR code, and again, it will automatically load up the preview on your device. So that's the way that you would uh, share. And then the final step would be publishing. So once you've made all your changes, you've reviewed it, shared it, you can just choose Publish Project. And here, that if you have both, uh, both components of the GOMO Learning Suite, both authoring and hosting and analytics, it gives you the choice of how you'd want to distribute it. 
If you just have the authoring component, you will just get the first option here. And there you would just choose to publish out here as SCORM 1.2 for uploading to your LMS. And that will just give us a download file. So it comes out of the GOMO cloud uh, ready for us to, to download to, uh, to our local computer and to distribute to the LMS. So that's step five of get going with GOMO.